Rugged cameras boast some tough credentials claiming to be geared for active outdoor use, but can they take an elemental beatdown and stay snapping? We've got a couple of the toughest compact cams around, the Olympus 8010 Tough. And Panasonic FT2. Which we're going to put through a series of challenges to find out which one has the best combination of ruggedness, quality picks, and overall usability. So, both cameras boast waterproof capabilities and claim to be able to withstand up to 10 metres of H2O. So, how do we put these claims to the test? We've got a fishing rod and plenty of line, so you can guess what that means. The USB port, battery, SD slot and mini HDMI are protected by this very trusty door which is fully sealed against dust and water allowing the Olympus to stay dry and fully functional. Like the Olympus, both the Panasonic's hatches lock firmly shut, keeping out all the grit and moisture that would finish off ordinary cameras. Well, they've passed, but what about image quality? The river isn't really the best place for taking underwater photos, so here's some we took earlier. Picture quality underwater is pretty average. The images produced are quite soft, particularly towards the corners, but the 8010 was able to capture a satisfactory amount of detail. The Panasonic has produced some pretty impressive pics. All the photos are vibrant and packed with crisp detail, and the intelligent auto feature does a great job doing the hard work of selecting the best shooting mode, whatever the conditions. Now, one of the most important aspects of any camera is its usability. And there may well be times when you need to use your camera in sub-zero temperatures. So we're going to test them in extreme, well, kind of extreme, Conditions. For this, we're going to need some props, a tank, water and plenty of ice cubes, and some courage because we're about to plunge our hands in and keep them there for the next minute and a half. Eek! So our fingers are nicely frozen. Let's see how easy these cameras are to operate. The Olympus isn't quite as comfortable to use as the Panasonic and the buttons are tiny. Not great for cold hands. Zoom is taken care of by two buttons rather than one and there's no dial for quick mode switching but you'll find navigating through the menu easy enough. And if you're thinking of churning out pictures at a fast rate you might want to think again. There's a few seconds delay when it comes to admiring your pictures and this lag continues for another few seconds before it allows you to take another picture. The FT2 trumps the Olympus when it comes to usability. Its zoom rocket is better than having two separate buttons, while a dial lets you quickly flip between full auto, intelligent auto and various scene modes. The camera is also lighter than the Olympus and to our eyes, much more attractive as well. We're not done with that ice water yet though. Both cameras claim they can withstand temperatures of up to minus 10 degrees, so we're going to leave them chilling for a while. Well, the Olympus is fine. And so is the Panasonic, which brings us nicely on to our next challenge. Checking your pics is crucial, but this can sometimes be hindered by blindingly bright sunshine. The screen on the FT2 is nice and bright with good viewing angles, so even if the sun's beating down, you should be able to see enough to frame up a decent shot or two. Like a lot of cameras, viewing your pictures in direct sunlight is a no-no, but at an angle you'll be able to tilt the 8010 to a position that allows you to see your pictures clearly. And if you still find the sun a bit of a hindrance, the simple hand shade method always works. And now let's see just how tough these cameras really are. And what better way to put them to the test than by seeing if they can shrug off a two metre drop. We put both cameras to their paces and both have survived to tell the tale. So these really are the kinds of cameras that you don't have to handle with care, but what trumps what? Well, the Olympus Tough 8010 is a great camera capable of serving up decent pictures and delivering pleasing HD video. And although it's as rugged as they come, sadly some of its features let it down, like its usability, which just isn't as well honed as the FT2, not to mention its inability to produce pictures quickly. So despite the Olympus's undeniable toughness, it was, in fact, 
the Panasonic that came out on top. The FT2 delivered that combination we were looking for, ruggedness, quality pictures and great usability. On top of that, it takes brilliant pictures underwater and comes in a range of crazy colours, all of which makes it our winner.